is fantastic. Yeah. I think it's absolutely fantastic. And what's so nice about it is that it's the combination of all the best things in sport, which is partnership. I hope everybody uses it because that's the main purpose. But second, secondly, you know, you do need good quality facility for young people to really do things that have, you know, technical importance. And how does it feel to have someone so high profile here? Yeah, it's it's lovely. Yeah. And it's nice for the children because it actually raises the awareness in the Olympic Games, which is something we'll be focusing on next year. So perfect timing. Well, it's a fantastic uh, facility and the, uh, when I approached Seb about coming to do this, I said to him, this is the kind of thing that you just don't see in primary schools. It's a facility quite unlike anything else you'll find in a primary school anywhere. What do you think of your new sports centre? It's, it's lovely. Before we had to do it in the gym, which had cucumber yeah. over the floor. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, it's really good because uh, we can really now nice. do lots of sports in it instead of go outside. And it's got like loads of pitches so we can do loads of different sports in the same room. And we don't have to go outside if it's cold, you can go outside and do it. Oh, it's really good because it's as if it's another place to do PE instead of doing it in our canteen. Um. So it was really it was a really good idea. And when the weather it. was cold we would always have somewhere to go warm because we used to always play we'd either play in the uh, lunch room but yeah. that would be a bit it's a bit disgusting. Obviously the cycling race coming through Surrey. Yes. What do you think that's gonna do for the kids in Surrey? Do you think Well it's, it, it's important for a number of reasons. Firstly, we were really clear that where possible we wanted to take the games out of London, take them around the country. Um, having the cycle, but but you know the cycle race itself has some complications. You can't take it too far out of London because you do need, you know, you, you want the athlete, the competitors to, you know, not to have to travel too far. But it really does give us an opportunity to showcase a lovely county. I mean, it's a county I live in, so I know the area quite well. And to be able to take it out to places like Box Hill and Hampton Court. And are you looking forward to seeing Lord Co? Oh yes, yeah. It's been a bit of a hero of mine since I was sort of so high. So. Hey, really? Oh yes. You watched them on TV, did oh, you? Oh yes, as a little kid in the Olympics. Yeah. Were you excited when you heard that it was coming to Surrey? Oh, I, mean, I couldn't believe it. Um, be great for everyone in Surrey to see all the professionals coming through here. Sort of dream come true, really. And what about seeing Lord Co? Do you remember him at all? I don't remember him, but I heard a lot about him. So hopefully it would be a really good experience for us. So what concerns do you have about the roads around Box Hill and Surrey in general? Um, having ridden around here for the last three or four years, uh, they are in a pretty poor state at the moment. It would, it would help perhaps if one of the council members was to cycle up here or walk up here occasionally, and, and then they would see how bad they've been. And, and they have been bad for a good few years. Do you think that the roads are going to be in good condition to show them off to the rest of the world? Oh, I do indeed. We have a new contractor who started two weeks ago. Uh, we're working uh, this year on 440 uh, surface treatment schemes, 38 major schemes. Um, we are also taking out nine uh, minor um, road pieces along the route uh, so that the cyclists can make bends and things like that.